everybody, along with Trey Burr, who's down at ringside. My name is James Kowalski. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. Eastern Conference, Western Conference collision. They don't see each other much. Does that create a tentativeness, though? It can, for sure, because you don't really know under the video how that team's going to play. You haven't played against those players very much, so you'll get into the game, feel it out, and then I think it's a fun game to play. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. The Kraken have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. With possession along the wall, gets in front of it. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Here's his fast slap shot. It's hard to stop when he lets it rip while skating in at the net. You don't want to give him the time to wind up and use his off-the-rush zone ability. Shifley is very accurate when he shoots a settle-down puck for the Schneidt zone ability. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Here's a shot. Denies him on the slapper. And he regains control of the puck. Looks to pass it to Hurdle. And now it's over to Line. And that's broken up. Riley's picking up steam. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Moves the puck. Across the line from center. The Blue Jackets looking against the half wall. And that pass goes off a stick. Poked away in the defensive end. He might have a step here. He's in all alone. What a stop on the breakaway! Tosses it to Line. A. Quick feed to Shifley. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And makes the save. Slides it across to Pasternak. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Moves it to Pierce. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Broken up at center by Pasternak. And he's going after him here. Lindholm's ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Pasternak's exploring options with the puck. Continue to apply pressure here. Pierce has got the puck. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins. Seattle's got control of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Seattle's got it across the line. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Pierce has got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. Moves it quickly over to Pierce. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Puck sent over to Tavares. Scrum ensues along the boards. Seattle's got possession here in the offensive zone. Dumps it in. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Manjapani. Tries to get it over to Lindholm. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Nothing doing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go. And he had to absorb this huge hit. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. The Kraken 
have gained possession off the wall. He's got a step. The three denied by the goaltender. Yeah, he comes out to follow the shooter back. He's got to keep the same speed. He does a perfect job. Pasternak's accuracy comes from having the puck flat and settled on the ice, guys. His snipe zone ability is what really lets him pick his spots. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Off a stick and they can't connect. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. The Blue Jackets move to the offensive zone. An easy save by Di Pietro. Di Pietro's able to make the save and on top of that deflects it out to the corner. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Pierce is ready for the draw on this man advantage. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Takes the puck behind the net. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Morrissey. Let's it go. Great glove save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Pierce is out there now, and guys, if you give him the time and space to unload a slap shot while he's coming in hot, he can really let it go with his off-the-rush zone ability. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And the puck clears the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Quick pass to Pierce. Hammers one at the net. Denies him with the save. The Blue Jackets move it in. And he takes a shot. Shuts him down. Pinned up along the boards. Puck grabbed by Morrissey. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends it over. Denies him. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. The goalie's not going to get a break here. It's a difficult shot, but turns aside with another excellent save. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Blue Jackets win the draw. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Seattle's got the puck behind the net. Long lead pass into the open ice. What a stop as he puts up the fire. And they send it down the ice. Seattle's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Through pass ahead. A chance. Oh, what a stop. A chance. Oh, it stops him again. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they clear that puck. Columbus gains possession under man. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Kraken has the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Natchez. Picked off on the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Natchez. Panel's ready to go. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. A lot of head shaking on the bench when you go back after a power play like that. Well executed, lots of pressure, just couldn't finish. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to O'Reilly. The Kraken have possession now. Slides it diagonally to Pasternak. Grabs control of it at the point. Wide of the net. Smith's got it along the boards. Unloads one. Oh, stops him with the clock. I'm still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Pierce has done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. The goalie's got to stay sharp and does so with a really nice save. That's a good scoring chance that was generated and a good shot taken. More than half the period has expired. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. 
Dishes it to Lindholm. Columbus looks to get things going now with the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick shot. Stop. And he puts it in the back. And it's stopped. Wait a second. It's being waved off by the referee immediately here. Yeah, he's, his view is that this puck is pushed in by a glove. It can bounce off the glove. You can't push it into the net. other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on their way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. We'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of play as the horn sounds. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two.
Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 2-1 game. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Things start to get a little physical out there. And now he tries to get it across to Pierce. With a one-timer. Oh, off the crossbar. What a chance on the play. Seattle's still in the same spot. That's a good scoring chance where the puck hits the pipe and stays out. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Moves it to Morrissey. Slides it over. Oh, just wide of the net. That play happened so quickly, they're in good position, but they don't get the puck on the net. And all that work goes to waste. Columbus is in the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Columbus has it. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The centermen glide into position. Seattle's got it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Pierce. And that's poked away. Taken along the wall by Pierce. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it quickly over to Pierce. And they he clearly doesn't like that. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Down he goes, fairly one side, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. As they're trading punches here, he's clearly struggling. He got tagged by a good one. Well, cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Scheif leaves one possession. Handles the puck. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Referee Shillabeck's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Shifley's on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. O'Reilly's effective in the dots, guys. He's always practicing taking faceoffs, and he really prides himself on winning those matchups. That's what we call his quick draw zone ability. Quick pass to Tavares. Takes a hit on the play. Right up front. And that one's broken up. Oh, great play to use the ball. Handle in the pass. Columbus gets a hold of the puck against the boards. And that's poked away. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Oh, the goaltender never picks this up. There's so many people in front of the net. But how does the puck get through all of those people without hitting a body or a stick? It is a seeing-eye shot. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment.
Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Seattle's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Columbus will play for the back end. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Kraken have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Blue Jackets have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Columbus wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! This is almost the trademark boot for him. He gets a little bit shoulder and then drive straight to the far post. Nobody stops them. They find the pockets in the net. The Blue Jackets win the draw here in the neutral zone. Connor's got it in the defensive end. Hooking up with the stick in the defensive end. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. The Blue Jackets ready to go on the attack. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save been on fire lately his point streak starting to stretch out this is when you feel like you'll score any game both teams are set they're ready to drop the puck grabs the puck and looks to make something happen he scores always good to get on the board get the monkey off the back early columbus has seemingly found a way to get almost everybody on the scoreboard here tonight right yeah now it's at the point james that guys are starting to be point hungry and you want to add your own stats, you get up in a game like this, you'll take a chance that you wouldn't in a 2-1 game. Does that happen much? Oh, yeah. When we were ahead, I was always taken for another goal somewhere. <laughs> There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Pierce is living in the fast lane here. Hat trick in the last game. Another goal tonight. Scores with a little added trick on the side. I like when the bottle goes up in the air, how angry the goalie gets. Like he slaps the bottle away. It's not the bottle's fault. Like, stop the puck, man. Just the insult to injury with the bottle pop. He jumps right out of the penalty box and gets into the play. Makes no mistake on this chance. You can see how confidently he's playing right now, and that goal is an example of it, guys. He uses his superstar ability to get that goal, and it's what he's going to feel good about. Seattle's looking to break out. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Oh, I like the way he's hanging on to this thing. He's got two goals already. If he gets a chance, here might be number three. Murphy's got it into offensive territory. Couldn't complete the pass. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. And no luck on that pass attempt. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Columbus gains a hold of it. Poked away in the offensive zone by Pierce. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a short pass to Murphy. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. The Kraken have been handed two minutes for elbowing. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a hagler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Feeds the puck to Korkinen. Quick feed to Pierce. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. 
And there's the save. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Cutting to the front of the net. He scores! That's not a trick! With a tweak to the crowd here on the road as he gets it third. An outstanding game so far. Look at the bench when he scores, James. I mean, this guy is just a born leader. Like, he scores, the energy just runs through his team. That is something that is a great skill to have. He used that superstar ability to get that chance, guys, and he does not miss. That's a great goal. Puck is dropped, the play resumes. Takes the feed. Great poke check on the reach. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Good read with the stick to break that up. Feeds the puck over to Pierce. Fires it on net. They score! All you want to do is give yourself a chance. They were able to cut this lead to one. Now can they find another? Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot. And really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. The Kraken have struck back with a big-time goal to narrow the deficit. You can almost feel the urgency. They know they got to get back in this. They get one. Now they only trail by one. Here's the shot. Denies him. He got all of it. To the low slot. Oh, another consecutive stop. Oh, this has turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Passed up ahead. Well, there's no time to take your foot off the pedal now. This game is tight and it's going to go right down to the wire. Focus is important. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Columbus plays it along the boards. Here he is, shot right in front. Di Pietro's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Pittsburgh's in the on-deck circle for the next game for these guys. Now, one aspect that doesn't get talked about, James, is while you're playing the game today, previously the assistant coaches are already breaking down video. They've got the power play and the penalty kill all queued up for the next game and the game after that. It's an ongoing process. Is that where that buzzword pre-scout comes from now? It does, and it never really ends for the coaches. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins, and that was stopped. Seattle's playing it through center. Takes the pass. How did he stop that one? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Pierce has made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Who had the better night? Carlin is standing by. Pierce is the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. And that goes wide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Scooped up along the wall by Hurdle. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. They go on the attack from the left side. Seattle's got the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Oh, what a chance, but you've got to finish. Time to shoot the slapper. Time to really load it up and make a dangerous shot on goal. But he misses the net, and nobody's able to do anything with it as it hits the end boards, and now is out of danger. Quick pass to Fowler. Oh, a clutch save! Puck has covered it up, and the officials will finally whistle the play dead here, Razor. You, you almost, if you're on the ice, you look at the ref and you're like, what took you so long? They're exhausted, under pressure here in their zone. They finally get a stoppage. Sends the pass over. Columbus has it against the half wall. Got a hold of the puck now. And the puck skips away after that move. Pierce is trying to do too much himself. Not a case of not caring. Just trying to take it all on his own shoulders. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Great puck by Pierce. Columbus is on the attack. 
The Blue Jackets clean along the boards. Turns it aside with the glove. Fowler's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Natchez. Pierce is going to play it against the half wall. Quick feed to Line. Comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper jumps up. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Pierce is looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. The setters will glide into the dot. Nietzsche has won the faceoff. On the attack along the boards. Columbus has possession of it now. All alone! And he kind of brings the bell off the post. The Blue Jackets win another one off the goal post. I've kind of lost count how many it's been tonight, James, but at least they still got the lead. Moves it to Tavares. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Handles it along the blue line. Puck picked up by Tavares. Oh, what a stop by Di Pietro. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Moves it to the offensive zone. Quick shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Late in this game, that might be their best chance to score. He just doesn't capitalize. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. Takes a shot and puts it right over the crossbar. Seattle's been able to generate scoring chances through their work and skill. They're not able to finish it off of them. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Shifley's won it off the faceoff. Picked up along the wall by Pierce. They need a goal here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice. Hurdles moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Pierce. Rister. really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even, but that shot off the post won't help them. Moves around along the half wall. Intercepted the pass. Nice pass. Can't find his man. Moves the puck to Bocas. Columbus plays it up ahead. Slides the puck across to Shifley. A shot at the empty net, and it misses. This one. And it always seems to be a foregone conclusion when the net is empty that if you can just get one chance, it's going to be put away for you. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Columbus takes advantage of the empty net, adding the insurance market. You see this more and more now, Ray, where goalies are pulled much earlier. The odds have shown that you need more time than just 45 or 50 seconds to a minute to score. So they yank the goalie early. They try to push for the equalizer. Just a